There is going to be a food crisis by the end of the year based on the data, the readings of the data. I'll tell you what. For example, rice. Uh, we did not apply the right fertilizer so that it will decline by about a million metric tons. They do not want to import because of the fact that uh, they have to be self-sufficient. They think about that. We have a problem with pork because the ASF is again a problem. We have a problem with avian flu. We called out about 2 million heads of players already. Uh, so in, in Minal in Pampanga. And that avian flu is spreading fast upwards. Uh, we have a problem, of course, with sugar now. <laughs> we all know that. So all, all, all in France, onion, for example, we have a problem. And because there is a uncertainty on the importation policy, because it boils down again to the issue of whether we can determine there is a shortage or not. Because nobody wants to believe the PSA data. We have hmm. the, you know, artificial shortage. But the PSA data keeps on telling us that there is a real shortage. Mm -hmm. So whom do we follow? So I would you're right, you know. Uh, this is my my bold projection. We're going to have a major food problem by the end of this year because okay. the price will decline, uh, etc. In fact, by October, two to, to four pesos ng taas. On top of that, the international trend is not favorable because Vietnam and Thailand are trying to pollute, become a cartel to dictate prices. If India sumama yan, patay tayo. And then China, because of the drought, will be importing a lot. That will tighten the supply of rice in the international market. That's a good point you're raising, the disconnect, because uh, that's another uh, suggestion I made in the column. That, okay, first, Let's do an audit. Ano ba talaga ang nasa merkado? Ano yung, what, what's on, in the farms? What is programmed for planting, etc.? And what should be imported? Because I am not anti-importation, I but I want importation as a augmentation or support lang. Hmm. Hindi dapat yung maging platform of agriculture. But uh, I mentioned there, Sir Fermin, that we need to bring back the farm extension workers because uh, when I go around the country with BMEG, na nagtuturo ako ng mga maling gawa sa pagbababoy, ang unang tinatanong ko, sino nagtuturo dito ng agricultural technology, etc., etc.? Uh, one, uh, one, uh, so one out of two, may agri merong farm extension worker Yung iba, yung isa, wala. Yung kumbaga sa mga munisipyo. And when I dug further, it turns out that farm extension workers became the domain of mayors and governors. Uh, wala na ba kayo niyan dati sa DA, uh, sa Department of Agriculture, directly under you, uh, Yusek Fermin? Uh, you're on mute. You're, you're on mute. I will quickly, you know, uh, go through the issues here. Okay. Let's go, let's go back to the sinkhole. We are in a sinkhole. Tama si, uh, uh, no, no, si Mr. Alvarez. Kasi yung, yung population growth natin just outstrip the agricultural productivity. When we reach 80 million or 85 million, that's a time that importation became heavy. If you look at the trend. Mm. Maging tayo 80, 85 million, ang laki na ng importation natin. Se secondly, yung issue nga na structural, may disconnect na sinasabi siya. Kasi because of the local government code of 1991, we have devolved or decentralized all the extension workers. Mm -hmm. So lahat yan nasa LGUs. And the extension work is a, a primary function of the LGUs. Wala magagawa po ang Department of Agriculture. The role mm -hmm. of the Department of Agriculture is to conduct research and then train the extension workers or train the trainers. Mm -hmm. Ganun po. Pag hindi priority, if the LGU does not prioritize agricultural development, then the whole thing, you know, uh, uh, you know, falls apart. Ganun na lang yari. But we cannot have any sanction because, for example, if you notice, even dun sa health, no? if Cebu wants to remove the mass, you cannot do anything. So ganun po eh. That, that is a problem. But the problem is that all the blame, pag nagka problema, Department of Agriculture. Yung Hindi national office yung lagi. Values. Ang third issue why we're going to sinkhole, it's because of this protracted implementation of agrarian reform program. Napakalit na po ng lupa, less than a hectare. So no matter what subsidy the government gives, it cannot really provide a decent income to the farmers kung less than a hectare yung sinasaka mo. And finally, there was an ironic uh, 
observation made by one of the central bank um, uh, members before was saying that we actually depended or relied on our food security to grade five uh, students, to our farmers who reach grade five level or not even elementary ano, graduates. So how can you solve the problem of food security okay. with that kind of setup? Uh, 